Hey everybody, Glenn here. Just wanted to give you a quick short video on what's going on in the tech world today. So we knew the news came out yesterday that affected a few of the tech stocks in the market where the current administration is looking to cap the amount of exports of chips outside of the United States to China, to the Middle East, and it affected the tech stocks in an adverse way. Now, a lot of you know that I do own Palantir. So I'm looking at Palantir today as I record this, it's down over 2%. But if you look at a graph, the graph shows that the stock has been rocking and rolling. Over the last year, the stock is up over 100%. There it is. Over the last year, it's up 139%. A lot of you are probably figuring, what should I do with Palantir? Because a lot of you own shares and have made money in Palantir. I was currently up as of yesterday about 61%. I'm currently up about 53%. But if I get down to 50%, I'm pulling the trade off the table because you can't go broke taking a profit. Now, as I look at this, again, as you may ask the question, what should I do? If I listen to everybody else out there, scroll down, stories that are coming out, the new AI bubble favorite at 135 time earnings, rating downgrade, Palantir, Time to cash out. Palantir, quarter three preview. I have strong expectations, but it's time to sell. Palantir at all time highs. Time to take profits. So you know me, I don't want to have to depend on what other people are saying. So I'm going to look at the Vector Vest software. Looking at uh, Palantir today, down almost 2%. Again, the company makes money, but the upside potential is not there. The stock is grossly overvalued. It's just been so hot because this company has been getting contract after contract. With that being said, the RT, the short-term price trend, still over 1.5%. Uh, uh, it's still a buy recommendation, right? So with all of that being said, what should you be doing with Palantir right now? I'm going to go bring up a graph, and I'm going to show you a couple of things, and I'm going to do it really, really quickly. Let me make this fit real quick, 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 quick. There we go. I'm um, looking at it on the 3.8 perspective, again, from my tech series going on. If you're short-term, or uh, if you're just in it, I'd wait end of day to see what happens with the three and the eight crossing over. Looking at the star search, it is now in the middle lane. I wouldn't be mad at you if you took some off the table. And looking at the near perfect indicator for those of you a long term, trend is still there. The stock is pulling back off of its highs, but trend is still there and strong and RT is there. Keep on top of this. We will keep you alert as to what's going on.